What's your name? My name is Rana Edwards. Where are you from? I am from New York. How old are you? I am 27. Where did you graduate? I got my master's degree from St. John's University in New York in medicinal chemistry. What are you doing at University of Milano Bicocca? I came to Bicocca uh, because uh, I am a fellow part of the Marie Curie Action uh, and I am currently doing my PhD in chemistry at Bicocca University. Could you describe uh, the NABA project? So the NABA project is a project under the Marie Curie Action. Uh, it's a collaboration between the top scientists in Europe that work on a very particular area of nanoparticles. Um, I'm working here at the University of Bicocca under the mentorship of Professor Francesco Nicotra, who is the coordinator of the NABA project. Um, and we are just working collaboratively on one topic, which is how to develop nanoparticles or carriers uh, that you can put anything on, antibiotics, drugs, and ask it to be delivered to a very specific tissue or area. So this can open up doors to a lot of things such as you know, finding treatments or cures for cancer, Alzheimer's, chronic disease. So it's a very cutting edge research and I'm very excited to be part of it. What are the nano shuttles? Nano shuttles or nanoparticles are like vehicles or carriers that can take, you can bark anything on it, you can load drugs or antibiotics and ask it to go to a specific part of the body. So it's a delivery system for drugs. Um, and it's a very important part of research now because we're very interested in de delivering drugs into particular parts. Yeah. What results can we expect from the NABA project? Well, when you have the best scientists in Europe putting their brains together and working at this project, uh, the work that can take 10-15 years can take th three to four years. So we are expecting very cutting edge findings into that specific field. Um, we are expecting to find a way to really be able to put drugs on a nanoparticle or antibiotics or any type of entity and deliver it exactly to where it should go. So that should be very interesting. We shall see. What is the scientific research for you? Uh, research is exciting, it's creative, um, it's knowledge, it's questions. You question yourself every day. You go to work and you don't know what you're about to find and that's what keeps us going. And we work as a team, so it's always exciting, very energetic. So I enjoy it very much. What skills should a researcher have? You have to have, first off, the discipline to really study the ideas. Uh, you have to be creative. You have to work collaboratively with everyone else. You have to have great analytical skills because every single piece, it's like we're always investigating. We get pieces and bits of things and we think about it and we put the puzzles together. So you just have to solve the puzzle. And that's what we do in three years, I guess. You are one of the researchers working in the new building U28 that University of Milano Bicocca is going to open. What do you expect from this new facility dedicated to research? I mean, this is a brand new research facility and it's built on the model of open science or translational medicine, um, where our research that's done in the sciences can translate into something practical within the medical field. Um, everybody that will work in this building will work collaboratively, so all the labs we can interact together, we can send our work from one lab to the other, so it's really amazing to see you know, such a huge research facility opening in Monza, and I feel very fortunate to be one of the first people that will start under the NABA project to work there.